Hello and welcome everyone. This is the fourth video of the series, How to Improve Your MMR. And this is the second, uh, third point. Um, the first two points were, uh, first point was attitude. You have to, first of all, improve your attitude. You have to have a winning attitude. I just go watch the video. <laughs> the second point was pick pub stomper and meta picks. And the third point uh, is mechanics. Now, this is mechanics by mechanics. Um, you might have heard uh, casters and whatnot, people saying, oh, this particular person um, is really a really, really strong mechanical player. Well, that mechanic, that mechanical is different from this mechanics. These mechanics are actually the in-game mechanics the the hero mechanics so for example um you're gonna pick um because you watched my previous video and you're gonna pick the pub stomper meta heroes you're gonna go into your let's say you're on uh, under 2k you're gonna click here you're gonna say all right i'm gonna pick these these uh let's say 10 heroes and because you watched my previous video you before you play whichever hero whichever of these 10 heroes you you're gonna play you're gonna actually read up on the wiki page of that particular hero so let's say you decided to pick omni you go in here and you read the crap out of this entire page you read every single thing now these are the mechanics <coughs> pardon me these are the mechanics but it's not just like reading this like okay omni's 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 uh the purification is pure damage yeah okay well that's great you don't know what pure is so you have to click pure you have to go into the actual mechanic this is a mechanic uh, the mechanic is that his purification his q does pure damage that is a mechanic that you've just learned what is pure damage you don't know what pure damage is so go into pure damage and this is just like that's the best thing about Wikipedia or Wiki in general. You just keep learning things. So it says pure damage is a damage type that is not reduced by magic damage, sorry, magic resistance, nor amplified by magic damage. So for example, um, um, cloak or hood is not gonna reduce his, his uh, the damage from purification. It is going to be a pure 360 nuke. Now, if you keep going, like Veil of Discord and Ancient Seal, Ancient Seal do not amplify it. Why? Well, go into Veil of Discord. Why doesn't it amplify it? Well, because Veil of Discord actually does not amplify magic damage. It actually reduces the enemy's magic resistance by 25. But because Omni's damage is pure anyway, uh, magic resistance is absolutely nothing. Has nothing has got nothing to do with it. Same goes for Ancient Seal. It just increases the magic damage taken. Whereas um, for Dispersion and Soul Catcher act as well as uh, the the nuke from uh, silent side what is it called orchid the nuke from orchid that also um that also uh calculates its final damage based on the total damage dealt to the to the particular hero so these are the these are the items which will increase anyway uh, my point being mechanics are very important so you have to here you say despite the visual effects the damage is applied instantly now he goes with his hand up and down and he heals uh you know right now from here that the, uh, the heal is applied instantly so that's a mechanic you've just learned um so this actually takes the it, it has a cast time it has a one second ooh, 1 1.5 seconds i did not know that Actually, this has a 1.5 second cast time as well. So, what the hell is a display the visual release? They managed to all the within the range of the. Hmm, that's weird. What visual effect? I have no idea what visual effect they're actually talking about. I, I think maybe because the 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 um, uh, damage radiate the, when 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 the effect comes in, it radiates. So that's probably what they're talking about. Anyway. Uh, but yeah, so the damage actually applies to all enemies uh, instantly within that affected AOE. So this is a this is another mechanic that you just learned. Um, so read up this entire page, and you will know this mechanic now. And other ways how you can uh, learn mechanics now. Merlini, a uh, YouTube obviously. Uh, Merlini has fantastic videos. Um, he's got theory crafting, which is, which is, um, after you run out of like mechanic thing, mechanical things, mechanical, um, videos, you can, you can start looking at this theory crafting. It's really, really fantastic. 
um, things like tips and tricks. See, he, this is a particular video where he shows um, mechanics of sight, sleight of fist, and he's got yeah. This is tips. Actually, tips and tricks is all mechanics, literally all mechanics. He's got other another series as well, um, but the, the, his his channel is full of fantastic tips and tricks, tricks and mechanics that you have to know uh, to play. Uh, to play Dota, for example, I learned from his channel that where is that video? The blink dagger. That uh, the maximum range on a blink dagger is twelve hundred. I knew that, but when you click it at maximum range, uh, or if you click it more than twelve hundred units, it actually blinks you a thousand units. You have to actually click exactly twelve hundred units away for you to blink twelve hundred. But uh, uh, this is something you will learn. This is something you will learn um, when you start going to mechanics. The other thing is uh, items that you buy often. So if you buy a blink dagger quite what the heck? there you go. If you buy a blink dagger quite often, go into blink dagger and read the mechanics. So uh, right here, um, nice. When targeting beyond the max blink distance, blinks for nine seconds. Oh, the they what? This was a thousand. I swear to God, <laughs> they actually nerf it sometime. Um, nine hundred nine sixty towards the target. So actually, it's even not even a thousand. It's even less than a thousand. When did they? Uh, I have no idea. Or maybe it was a thousand. I was just thinking as that. Anyway, uh, so yeah, go into mechanics of the items as well, and then purge. Purge has fantastic. Um, well. If you want to learn how to play support, go into Purge's uh, Purge's uh, channel. It's 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 the best uh, for for supports. The guy is only five point six k, but he has the knowledge that not even seven k people have. Um, I am sure he has some mechanics. There some videos of mechanics as well, although I'm not sure if he's made playlists, patch notes. Uh, oh yeah, okay. So another mechanics. Um, Read the patch notes. Can't stress that enough. Every single what I do is when eight point six five eight eight point six six point eight six came out, I just went uh, six point eight six uh, patch analysis. Now purge makes a really really fantastic PPD on the CPPD W one. Uh, yeah, this is um, he's got a bunch of people. With him, but the one I watched was I watched Purge, Purge's one, Purge's one. I watched the one with Purge, <coughs> and I watched one with Awi. I actually watched yeah this one, Awi and Sons fan. Uh, I watched this one. Uh, it's, it's two parts. It's two hours, and I watched this one with Purge. Uh, fantastic! You will learn so much more about. Mechanics than the actual um, actual page. The actual I don't know why the word is slipping. Uh, patch patch change page uh, because they actually these guys actually uh, give more information on. This. Then uh, once you once you parse through entire Merlini's page and Purge's page, then there is uh, a fantastic series Dota Cinema do is called Mythbusters, and I'm sure there's loads of other ones. That I've prob probably seen, but I just don't remember off the top of my head right now. Um, mechanics, 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 mechanics. Knowing what, when, where, what, how it works. You're playing a game. If you don't know how it works, then you know you're not you're not playing it to the full potential. Um, so mechanics extremely important. Go and learn them. Um, as you spam, as you spam the um, pub stomper meta picks, and you improve your attitude. Go and learn mechanics. This is the first thing that you're actually actively learning and doing to towards improve to improving your Dota skill. Uh, these two things they are kind of simple. You don't actually have. To, okay, this is this is uh, outside of Dota, really. This is your own personal um, what do you call it fault or problem or whatever. Uh, it has nothing to do with a game gaming skill. This anybody and everybody has this has this issue and can improve on this issue regardless of Dota or no Dota. 
So this where and this is also like you just not picking whatever you feel like picking. You're just picking uh, from a set of um, uh, from a set of five or ten ten heroes. And this is the first mechanics is the first active thing that you're doing to improve uh, your Dota skills. So that concludes this video. Thank you very much for watching. Please um, ask any questions you want in the in the comments. Thank you very much.